from the Hawkeye program. We got Lewis here now in the uh, Iowa uniform and Jim Gibbons, former cyclone, little cyclone wrestler uh, for, Iowa, uh, for the Iowa State Cyclones. And Lewis is the defending national champion. He's one of the outstanding wrestlers in the United States. Oh, without question. He was just super in the nationals here at Iowa State last year, winning that title. Although he got taken down here. But Gibbons is in there real tight, and he got two. Two points for Gibbons. That, that's a good call. That was Even a good up. call. Even up, says the referee, and it's two to one. That was an excellent call on the referee's part. He, he lost, Gibbons lost control, but Lewis was out for the one without question. It's two to one. Two to one, after a thriller at 126 pounds. Well, there's nothing else in these Iowa, Iowa State beats. Well, uh, Lewis has had a fantastic collegiate career with winning, copying the national championship last year. He was runner-up two years ago. Two-time Big Ten champion. Now, what does Gibbons have to do? to beat Kerber. There's what he has to do. Get in on him and stay with him because, because Lewis is very dangerous even in that position. He went into that move off of a fireman's carry into a single leg, double leg combination. Now Gibbons fighting back with a wizard off to, against Lewis and uh, Gibbons leads four to two over Randy Lewis of Iowa. Well, Randy came right out with that stand up escape. But that was an excellent takedown. There it is, right there. Came in off of a fireman's carry into a double, picked him up, put him down for two. Then Lewis stood up for the one-pointer. 30 seconds left in the first period. Jim Gibbons of Iowa State with his back to the camera. Randy Lewis on the left now. Lewis is very, very good on his feet. He's a freestyler, an outstanding wrestler in freestyle or in the... Uh, collegiate style and don't underestimate the fact that he's a super pinner oh boy he's right from his feet we have five seconds lewis had a string of consecutive falls in his high school career that just phenomenal i forget the number but it was phenomenal something like 45 i think it's a national record for high schools now gibbons gets his there's uh, Les Anderson with Harold Nichols, and they were giving some advice to Gibbons about what to do because Gibbons gets his choice. Knees off the line. Up or down, and he says down. He's gonna, Lewis is going to ride. Second period. Three minutes. Gibbons leads four to two. He's on the bottom. Lewis the favorite, definitely the favorite. Outstanding wrestler up on top. Uh, no, uh, Gibbons doesn't want him to get those legs in on him, of course. That takes away a lot of his moves. Lewis very confident. Very tough. There comes a nice roll. Nice roll. Gibbons in a roll. And he got two. <laughs> a good roll combination. Gibbons leads six to two. And he's wrestling with confidence, the way they saw him, saw him in high school. Lewis, here it comes right here. Here comes the move. There's a, there's a good old side roll. He kicked that leg back. He posts it back. And Lewis almost countered it with a nice move, but uh, Gibbons came back tough for the two-point reversal. And there's Dan Gable, and he's got to be worried. But he knows that Lewis has come back from this kind of a deficit before. He, he, gets, he can end it any time, you know. He's awfully strong, awfully good, and he has his reversal. Six to four. A real tough move. Excellent. Two now he minutes. comes into the cross face, bar on. He'd like to lock that thing up. Two minutes and 10 seconds left in the second period. Lewis showing his power in there. Gibbons holding into the leg. He's countering it by staying in on Lewis's leg. We'd like to bring him over for some fall points. He's got that sit step pretty tough, that bar arm over there. Oh, he sure does. Now he'd like to drive that head to the knee and post it, lock up for that cradle. A six to four score. Lewis is riding, but he is behind by two. Notice how he's barring those arms. He's got that single bar arm real tough. Blocking off on the head. He's got a lot of pressure down on that shoulder and upper body of uh, Gibbons, more than what it appears. Wrestling very confidently out in front of the head that way. But Gibbons is coming around, and he gets two. Good move on the part of Gibbons. He came around tough on it. And one for Lewis as he's out. The score is eight to five with a minute and 10 seconds left. A minute and 10. Out of bounds. 
it would appear to me that Gibbons would want, want to get in there and get in those upper body moves because he could catch him on his back with an upper body move, and Lewis is tough on that. Now, in goes Gibbons for a single leg. That's his best That's his best offense is to get, get moving, get on the singles, doubles, whatever, because Lewis is a mighty tough wrestler from his feet. He's also good at countering these single legs, and so Gibbons wants to really cinch it up if he can, really pull it in tight. And he's, uh, Lewis has got that far ankle. He'd like to come in there and cross phase too if he can. He got that two. That's two for Lewis. He came around. Well, he, he had the uh, he had that near ankle and. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, injury. Scores eight seven. Eight to seven. Let's go. I thought it was an injury in there, but apparently the uh, uh, hit, hit guard just slipped down over his head a little bit too far. Got in his way. Well, I'll tell you what the score is. It's eight to seven in favor of Gibbons, but Lewis is about 13 seconds from getting a potential point in riding time. He has a minute and 25 seconds of advantage. Gibbons has 38 on top, and there are 33 seconds now and ticking in the second period left to go. 134 pounds, Iowa leads four to three in the team score. And this is only the third match, Dave. Yeah. Lewis got that double grapevine on him now, stepped in on him, but he released the the leg nearest the cam uh, camera here, so uh, he just stepped in with the far leg now. We'd like to get him turned for some fall points. 10 seconds. A lot Ten of leverage there. Now he's got the double grapevine in on him. He'd like to break him down and go to work on the upper body moves. Half Nelson. It's a little late, though, at the end of the period. Eight to seven, Gibbons winning eight to seven. He's leading eight to seven. You're down, Iowa. There's the Period. Iowa coaching staff. They know they're not out of the woods yet. Gibbons was a great wrestler in high school, and some people have thought, well, one of these days he's going to come around like that, and he'll be just as tough as Randy Lewis. But he has been for two periods. There was one of those throws. Oh, excellent. Excellent move. And now Lewis leads 9 to 8. 9 to 9 after the takedown, and he wants to go in and get him some points by taking Gibbons down. He feels stronger now, I think. He feels he can go in and yeah, maybe Gibbons is tired. He's tough in those upper body moves, real tough. He, he showed that just a moment ago. The 11 to 9 now, Lewis, after that takedown, and he has riding time. And he'll probably try to let Gibbons go if he can find a safe place to do it. There Neutral. it is. Neutral. You got to mix it up. I can't call one if you just hold it. 11 to 10. Here's your move right here now. Watch this. Comes to be able to take him back to the back side. Just kind of a body throw. And Gibbons goes into the single, but he missed it. And around came Kirk. Uh, uh, Lewis is countering that beautifully now. Oh, yes, he's got command without question at this point. 13 to 10, he's got the cross face and that far arm, and he's driving it hard. Yes, he's got him He's got him pretty well broken down, a lot of control. It wouldn't surprise me to see him bring him back this other way for the fall points. His head gears in his face. My time. Excuse me. I noticed that a couple of times. Gibbons can't get his headgear out of his face. He can't yeah, see. <laughs> Lewis is using some maneuvers that you can't put a name on so much, but he's got a lot of upper body moves with those bar arm series uh, and, and uh, body throws that are just yeah. tremendous. He executes them well. Very strong. He's got a, a real, gets a lot of leverage in there. Of course, keep in mind, he's defending NCAA champion. Neutral. 13 to 11 as he lets Gibbons up. That's an intentional release. He figures he's stronger now. I think he feels it. He feels that he's got... A little more strength left. He's in on the leg. Watch it. The knee there it, it could be a potentially dangerous, but he, it went on through, so it didn't bother. 15 to 11. Lewis lets him up again. Now 15 12. In this kind of situation, he's an adding machine. Jim, Jim Gibbons should get on the offense here and get moving after him because uh, Lewis has all the offense at this time. Back to the center. A minute and 23 seconds left. Gibbons is going to have to get some offense, which he had the first period and a half, but yep. Lewis has carried all the offense here lately. That's right. There there's a there's but uh, uh, Lewis has been coming around on that much better. He's been uh, spinning on that single leg and getting behind it. He hasn't stayed out in front of it. Got that far ankle you see blocked off, and, he, and he's working on that far arm. No points yet. They get a stalemate out of this. Fifty-four seconds left and counting. Oh, where's that knee? Oh, 
Oh, I, I, I was just stalemate. stalemate. I was afraid it was potentially dangerous there for getting close well, to it. Well, it appeared it was going to be that way to begin with, but evidently, uh, him being right on top of it, he didn't envision that it was. Let's go. Get your foot back. 44 seconds left, 15 to 12. Lewis leads. We're in the third period. Gibbons goes in on a single leg, but he hasn't got... He doesn't have enough depth. That's well, kind of a duck under single, but he's really yeah. going for the single shot. And, uh, Actually, Lewis, high Lewis crotch. Is, yeah, uh, kind of a high crotch type. Lewis counters real well. Lewis is in on him again, 17 to 12. And he has a, he has some riding time. Now, he would like to... Uh, well, I don't know if he can He's get looking for the double grapevine. There it is. That keeps him broken down, keeps him off his base so he can work on the upper body and maybe get some fall points. That's what he's attempting to do, I'm sure. Now he's got that near arm bar. He'd like to tip him over. Ten seconds left. Gibbons is out in front of him now, and I don't believe they're going to get him. We're at the end of the match. Lewis is going to win 7, 18 to 12, but it was a dandy, Dave. Oh, excellent match. Excellent match. <laughs>